The first example I'd like to show is a spreadsheet dashboard report created entirely with Farpoint Spread. This is an example of an executive dashboard summarizing sales and customer data, expenses, products, and particular locations performance all in one convenient interface. The data for this particular example is all coming from different sheets in the workbook, but since this was created entirely with code, the data could come from anywhere. From a database, from a web service, anything that your application requires. Now I'll show you some of the other sheets where the data is being pulled from. The sales and expense data comes from the sales and expense sheet. The product data comes from the product sheet. And the location data comes from the locations sheet. Now this data is live in the report, so I can make a change to one of the cells. Let's change that to 83 and go look at the report. And it updates immediately. Now I'll go change the reseller's number for sales. Change that to 5,000. Now let's make a change to the chart. The data for the chart comes from the chart data sheet. I can make a change that will affect that particular spike in the, in the sales data. Let's change that to 500 and see what it lo looks like. Much bigger spike. Now let's undo that change. And it's back the way it was. Now let's look at this in Excel 2003. Spread can export to XLS. Or to Excel 2007, XLSX format. All the sheets come in. And finally, let's look at it in, in an Adobe Acrobat document. Spread can export to PDF as well. That concludes the dashboard demo. Now I'd like to, to show you a sales analysis demo. The data for this demo comes from the Northwinds database, from the order details table. Except for the last column. The last column is a calculated column that's not bound. The total is calculated by taking unit price times quantity less the discount. This grouped view is hierarchical and you can collapse or expand rows. This is the same data shown in active reports. This data comes directly from the spread. Now we'll export active reports to PDF and you can see how beautifully it exports the reports to PDF. This demonstrates how you can integrate data from spread directly into active reports. Now I'd like to go show you that form in design time. 
you can see that the spreadsheet is bound to a data source in design time to the data set on the form. Using the Spread Designer tool, you can customize your spreadsheet, including the column bindings. You can see that the order ID field is bound to the order ID data field. The order ID column is bound to the order ID data field. And you can set the cell type. Or change the data field. Or create an unbound column. This column has no data field since it's not bound. Instead, it has a formula for calculating the total. There are many, many formulas available in Spread. We have a new ribbon bar interface for the Spread Designer tool, which is very similar to the interface in Excel 2007. That concludes the sales analysis portion of the demo. Now I'd like to move on to the last part, the CRM example. Customer relationship management is one of the most important business needs in the market today. This example shows a spreadsheet with a very large set of opportunity information on one of the sheets. This information represents particular opportunities that were won or lost for business, particular customers that were either won or lost. On this sheet, I'm doing an analysis of that data. Row 1 and Row 2 show the average days won and lost for particular opportunities, and the pie chart shows the percentage of opportunities that were lost in particular steps in the process. We can change the pie chart to show 3D, or even change the chart type. I'm going to make it into a bar chart. Notice it says Series 1. That's because the cell B3 is empty. But we can change that using the Chart Designer tool. I'll change it to say Percent Lost. Now I'd like to show you some of the formulas in the cells that are used to calculate those values. Spread supports most of the functions in Microsoft Excel. These particular formulas are using the functions COUNTIF and COUNTIFS, and these are using AVERAGEIF.